So while I wait for the throttle and the throttle linkage to come in the mail, I'm going to rebuild these carbs. I have everything I need to do it. You already saw that I did the diaphragm before. I'm going to disassemble the entire carb so I can clean um, all the brass bits inside, the needles, the points, or the needles, the float, and all that, as well as clean the outside. So let me start disassembling this. That is very dirty and there's a lot of varnish on it as you can tell so that definitely needs to be cleaned. So the carb is pretty much disassembled now. So for the aluminum parts, I'm going to be soaking them in some hot water and pine saw. It will hopefully work a little bit to clean up some of this gunk. It's not going to be, it's not going to work as well as like an ultrasonic cleaner or a baking soda blast, but it's all that I have right now to do. So let me let these soak and we'll come back and see how they look. So I have the brass pieces from both carbs in the cap to the wheel tire cleaner. So for now, I'm just gonna spray this, fill it up, let them soak, and then come back in a few hours and we'll see what they look like. So I spent a good part of yesterday scrubbing the carburetors in a solution of hot water and pine saw. They came out all right, they're still a little bit stained I may clean them again later, I don't know. We'll see how they look once they're on the bike. But now I have the rebuild kit and I'm going to be rebuilding them and putting them back together and then back on the bike. and it's reassembled. Now time to put it back on the bike. So I went ahead and put the air filter and air filter box back on just because I want to try to connect everything I can to see what I have and see what I need. So 
So my bike did come with one of the original air filter things, which I don't know if this is the right side or not. Let me check the other side. So this does look like it fits on this side. However, I think I need to make this boot a little longer. It doesn't look like the original one. So if you actually line everything up, there are some gaps, which I don't like. Um, but for now, we'll try just to see We'll just, I'll just leave this for now, connect up the choke and everything again, and we'll make sure she runs. So it's later in the afternoon. I had to run errands and stuff, so I wasn't able to finish filming, but I did spend about an hour tuning the carbs and getting them synchronized, at least just for idle, given that I don't have the throttle cable. I just wanted to say that later on I will be showing how the synchronizer works when I actually have the throttle cable. And thanks to my dad for letting me borrow his um, synchronizer. I used this old-timey synchron synchronizer that worked really well and I'm going to use it again when I actually have the throttles. So the bike is dead cold and just curious to see if it'll fire up um, given how long I actually took to tune the carbs, I think it should be pretty good. Ignition on. Again, bike is dead cold. And let's see how well it starts. Runs pretty well. Don't want to suffocate myself. Runs pretty good. Um, starts right up, which is nice especially when it's cold. It's probably 50 or so in the garage right now. So uh, until next time, that's all I'm going to be able to do for today. See y'all next time.